I love the smell of supply drops in the morning. Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we support Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So the new Liberty Strike event is well underway, and of course it added a bunch of new content to the game, but one thing I don't think any of us expected them to add was chrome camouflage, or more accurately, better chrome camouflage, to supply drops and the quartermaster for only 550 armory credits. So this new camo is called Metal Flage, and what I wanted to do here today is show you guys some comparisons. Now there are going to be some obvious differences, especially on certain weapons and with certain weapon variants but as you guys can see metal flage is basically just chrome camo but with brighter colors and sometimes a distinct camouflage pattern on certain weapon variants but by and large to a lot of people it just looks like better chrome and you can get this thing from the quartermaster for only 550 armory credits now of course this does come down to personal preference but in my opinion I think this looks a lot better than chrome which is a real shame because there's a massive difference in the difference difficulty that is required to earn both of these camos. To get chrome, you have to finish every challenge for all 31 base weapons in the game, including pistols and launchers and the shovel melee weapon, which can take months of dedicated play to unlock, but to get metal flage, which is very similar and arguably better, all you have to do is go to the quartermaster and spend 550 armory credits, or of course get lucky via supply drops. Now it's important to remember that DLC camos in this game do go by weapon categories, so so technically, if you want to have Metal Flage for every gun in the game, you will need to spend 4,400 armory credits, but again, that is nothing compared to what's required to unlock Chrome, and also keep in mind, when it comes to Metal Flage, you instantly get that camo for all DLC weapons and all DLC weapons going forward, whereas when it comes to regular Chrome, you only get it for the base 31 weapons in the game. If you want to have Chrome camo on a DLC weapon that you just got, you have to do all the challenges for that weapon and all other DLC weapons individually, so there's a bit of a difference between the two and I think it's a really bad move on the part of Sledgehammer to have a camo that looks arguably better than Chrome be a DLC camo, right? For some reason it seems like they've forgotten how important camos and challenges are to the Call of Duty series. It's one of the core reward systems that has been around for nearly a decade but for some reason they keep doing stuff like this here in Call of Duty World War 2. Remember when the game first came out people were saying they did not want to go for Chrome camo or even Gold camo because so many of the weapon variants that you could get from the core Master or from supply drops had gold camo built in or they had a chrome finish already like what was even the point of trying to do these challenges if you could just get pretty much the same thing from the quartermaster or from your supply drops it really de-incentivizes people to continue playing the game when the rewards you get for putting a lot of time and effort into the game aren't really all that good or at the very least can also be obtained over at the quartermaster it's pretty much the same thing as if they were to take the master prestige icon which you can only get for reaching the maximum rank in the game and if they were to take that icon and make it so for 550 armory credits, fans of any rank and any prestige can have the same icon but have it be flashier and more noticeable. It's like pretty much the same thing as taking chrome and adding a better looking chrome to the quartermaster, right? That's not exactly what I would call a good reward system and I'm wondering like what the heck is going on over there at Sledgehammer Games? Now of course you could say that chrome camo is old news here in Call of Duty World War 2 and that chrome tiger is the new prestigious reward but it's important to remember the time window that Chrome Tiger was released in. So for some reason, Sledgehammer waited for the game's life cycle to be more than halfway over before they released Chrome Tiger, which is sort of a slap in the face to fans that got Chrome a long time ago. There are people out there who have had Chrome Camo for three months, four months, six months now, and all the while they were pretty much done with all the Camo challenges in this game. Now they suddenly drop Chrome Tiger on us, which basically makes the tens of thousands of kills we've earned over the past couple of months since getting Chrome Camo pretty much pointless, right? A great example would be the fact that I have put in over 1,500 kills into my Tommy gun, it's my favorite gun in this game by the way, since I've earned Chrome. But none of that matters because Chrome Tiger was not out or available at the time, right? All those kills were pretty much pointless and then suddenly they add Chrome Tiger to the game and basically say to go out there and grind another 10,000 kills or so with all the weapons in the game to unlock this new prestigious camo that can separate you from the people who just got their camos from supply drops. Like you see the disconnect there? Like it's 
something that's really frustrating. I think Chrome Tiger looks awesome. I think it's awesome that people are going for it, but there's a lot of people that don't want to go for it because they added it so late into the game's life cycle after we'd already invested 40, 50,000 kills into the game's multiplayer. All in all, I would say that one of the huge downfalls of Call of Duty World War II would be the in-game reward systems, right? And that's not to say I don't enjoy the game or that I think it's a bad game overall. I'm just saying that the reward system here in Call of Duty World War II is one of its weakest points, and that's a bad thing for a video game that is trying to incentivize people to play it month after month after month after month. I mean, the camos, the, the base camos in the game are really bad, and the camos you get for doing the really hard challenges, well, most of the time you can get the same thing from a variant or a camo over at the Quartermaster, and when it comes to Master Prestige, like, don't even get me started on Master Prestige and the fact that there's really no incentive to actually get there whatsoever. The reward system in Call of Duty World War II is not very good, but I still think the game itself as a whole is one of the better Call of Duty games to ever release. Now, I'm not saying it's like a top three Call of Duty game or anything like that, but I think it's up there in the upper echelon of Call of Duty games, even though the reward system is freaking terrible. But of course, that's just my personal opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think down there in the comment section below. And going back to the Liberty Strike event, I have really been enjoying my time with the new weapons, and I'm also loving the Triple Double event. I told you guys in yesterday's video that Triple Double is activated for every single game mode in the game, but we don't know when that's going to end. But Sledgehammer did confirm today that the Triple Double event ends this Thursday, so be sure to take advantage of it while you can. But ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all I have for you guys here in this video. I've seen a lot of people discussing this new Metal Flies camo ever since it was added yesterday, so I thought I would take the time to sit down and discuss the entire situation. Now, I'd love to know what you guys think. Is this new camo too similar to Chrome? Do you think that Chrome should be buffed yet again to make it feel more unique, or do you think that some fans are just overreacting? I would love to hear all your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below, and since I probably won't be doing a video tomorrow, I want to wish you guys an early, happy 4th of July. Remember to be safe out there, and if everything goes according to plan, I should be finished moving entirely by Thursday, and hopefully we can get back into the swing of things with a more regular upload schedule. But once again, guys, happy 4th of July. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.